Hello, uh, this is um, Josh Cooper um, sorry, for um, uh, Arts Award. One minute. <laughs> sorry. For Behind the Scenes Work uh, Week Arts Award. Uh, the Arts Award. Uh, First one was Part A. Chicken Part. Uh, uh, during the yeah, the things I focused on during the first part of you know behind the scenes work was I focused on getting the proper what what part of the, I focused on the acting aspect. We've seen what different ways you could do it and how everything was worked out and put onto the actors and some of the things were mentioned and all that like what was used mostly for the actors and what they did um but like today i've mainly focused on a little bit of the tech and also the timing like the tech was light and sound but mostly the timing which was like timing of when the actors got to come in like I need to understand, you know, what that person job does before, like my acting job is that, because I don't want to be like, oh, they're just doing this work and I don't understand, like I want to, I want to understand more about what, you know, the that part can do, but I'm mostly focused on that, but, you know, I'm mostly focused on acting. But I'd love to get an understanding of other things as well, so I'm not blind to whatever that person does. Like when, like I could tell a sound guy, and I could give him like you know a special cue or something. Maybe if I'm like nearby, and I'm like, oh, person said a uh, cue this, and then it's you know it speeds up everything instead of me just having one ability. I wanted to have loads of skills, you know. I want to develop new skills throughout, you know, this process. Um. Here's for meant to um, draw a picture to show what we've done today, or draw like a small diagram or photo of drawing um, to show what we've done. Basically, what we've done first was we did, I'm just gonna tell you, first what we did was sound, no, first what we did was we did, you know, I mean, we interacted with. Um, we got to know each other a little bit more because we are working together as a team and we've got to, you know, break the ice a little bit because we're all there and, you know, we're dead awkward. But the first one, uh, first thing, actual thing we learnt about was what this is all about and what's going to happen and what days we're going to do that and we got given the timetable and we got given, you know, I think halfway through we got given the arts award before like dinner. But before then, you know, we actually broke the ice, got given the answer one booklet, we got given, you know, the timetable, uh, broke the ice, talked to each other, talked to the person, you know, had a little bit of just, just relaxing, you know, doing stuff, and then we're uh, getting to know each other, because we are, I mentioned that, when we were a team. Uh, the second, when we came back in, first we learned about sound, and about, ja about jackets, and like different sound and how to put it where the sound is and where the speakers are and we talked about moving sound creating your own sound which i think it's called free it begins with an f i remember it slightly um I remember it slightly but i listened a little bit you know about the sound and how they do it and i was like okay okay how could this be related towards acting and you know how can i put this into like not an acting style but how can this go with acting and i was thinking of all that well you know i was doing all that but like um so we did that he plugged in speakers showed him mixing sound showing this program what he uses so describing all where the sound is towards this theater in the round which is the space of the when he was showed us theater in the round uh, we've also we did lights and then no and then we did lights after the sound because everyone got their own separate um separate like groups we got into our separate groups uh and then we did all of you know 
all of you know we did all that so then we did up to the light and then you described light towards us described what light what different lights what what he does how does he make light what he does behind you know the scenes how does he focus and stuff how does he work with the other you know the other pieces so with the other you know job related roles of the uh, in the theater space should we say uh job related roles in the theater space in in like in the theater space and what they do and how they um put that towards you know how they get the cues from different people get the right aspects look over the there's a light designer basically who designs basically what they want the lighting to be in the space and then they copy that and then they twist it and they make look i think they make it there was a 3d model but then they spread it out and then they point of which board they want lights and everything and it makes it easier for them with this like sheet and they also have this program again where they choose different lights and then they, they can make the you know shutters of the light shrink and small so they can put a beam like there was a sign saying no pack if 25 hours because it was a london uh set for boys and girls uh, boys and boys and girls yeah boys and girls um so basically that was a lot of set so he pointed on a light and you can change it you could change the not house lights the stage lights on the stage to you know pink or change them to a different color and he does that and he creates the lights and he has a movement light you know which was the uh basically the, the beam light which is put through a lens shot through a lens that's what um generally i did today uh where could I improve next time? Maybe try out a little different of you know dead sound. Maybe try a different aspect of. Oh, and also today at the very end, as we did light, we did stage management and stage. Um, stage person was sort of everything about the stage and make sure everything was running right not the not the stage but behind the scenes making sure everything was good uh we talked to a person we talked to the, the proper stage management person who does that learn everything for them learn what they do learn how they deal with anything uh and then she showed us in that she went she you know she showed us a bit different of what she does we did like this little thing where we had um we were, pe people were doing different roles like they got we, we we got some boys and girls scripts to people being the actors other people were being uh the uh basically stage management who show, shouts out cues some of us were being sound which would have like little maracas or little tools and the mid sounds some of them other people were doing um other people were doing um what was it what was it other people were doing uh lights but they had like a torch and they made lights and then they right at the queues people did theirs another queue people did their like s n d x 24 4 or something uh, this isn't like language is sound for go and then the you know that person would sound for go person would go it's kind of putting it into like a list and makes it easy instead of people like looking out for their own cue one person has all the cues written down so it makes it easier around the space like actor three two one go and then you know they can you know that's when they know to have the right timing and the perfect stuff like actors get the timing sounds get the timing lights get the timing all that jazz uh, and then showed us that she created some different props she uh, showed us some different props like I think she showed us some old newspapers she showed us inside like the little um, the little uh, cafe uh, I think cafe shop it is a little shop a little shop tea parlor which has like little props inside of it to make it look like a shop and a, like a cafe yeah, like a cafe, and it basically, um, you know, 
Uh, but like, um, yeah, she was meant to show us all that. Um, that's good. Uh, what would I change if I knew that if expanded upon your skills in the future? If I did the skills like lighting and tech, I could go into the other aspirations, such as tech and lighting, and also give a bigger understanding of you know tech and also lighting instead of like be like oh and then a little bit like I actually know quite a lot about you know tech and lighting so I'm not there dumbfounded when people are shouting stuff shouting you know like cues of lights when someone shouts a cue of a light I'd love to be ready for that cue when I'm acting on stage when I'm be ready for like this light to come down and hit me so when I know that cue I know what to do something on that and it'd be like perfectly timed I know it really well so that's what I'd love to do you know in the future and get that really strong because that could help overall even though actors doing their own thing and do their own thing it'll look it'll be good if I could like stage management I know what they do and I know you know what not to do to annoy them Three things did you enjoy doing uh, the three things I enjoyed doing today was you know the, the ice uh, basically the icebreaker uh, I love doing the icebreakers I love you know you know it's nice and chilled I also love doing the behind stage management and I love the sound I love the behind the stage and the sound I mean the sound and the the lights and actually no sound lights behind the stage I love doing that. Um, it was learning about those. I've never learned anything about those. I've seen people in my college behind, you know, behind stage doing the college things, and they do it, you know. So they're doing there, doing all this, and I'd love to be there. Like, yeah, I could do that. And then they'd be like, maybe for like, you know, you know, I'm there. You know, I actually know what I'm actually doing. You know, when I'm sometimes up in the tech box or in the tech place that's what we call a tech box Hold. um we have a text box and know what they're doing and know what lighting we're doing and know what to do in different bits and it could look good you know overall it could look you know generally good and that's what i wanted to do you know sound tech and light behind the stage management i could learn some people and do that at hotwood we have a little bit of um a general manager who sorts stuff out but it's mostly just our tech our tech we have a whole type of team which does tech and also we have like three or two people which are like people coming in from the wings or people coming in from behind the stage because it's um it's i forgot what it's called uh frontwards it's every the audience member is facing one one way basically um Uh, what skills I've developed overall? I've developed, you know, oh, today, what art skills have I developed? You know, I developed onto um, sound, you know. No, no, not sound. Like, I, I, the skills I developed is sound, and, you know, what software you need to use and how that could, you know, how that could evolve and what people do to make sound and all that. And also what people do to make you know, lights, the light can work and how, how it works and how to make it placement and to design it. A little bit more into that. How could I develop my skills and for the knowing future, you know, improve also on everything. As you know, I said, improve on also everything. Like in the future, I could, you know, know everything, you know, not everything about sound, but know quite a lot about sound and lighting just to make everything. Um, just to make everything more fluent, not fluent, but make everything, me on stage, you know, understand that lighting's meant to go on and sound and not lighting's meant to go on and not sound, but know that these things are going to come up or these things that are going to be inside my head while I'm also acting, I can also have that background knowledge of that sound and directors. So it helps me. I said that I did a little bit of, you know, sound and I know a little bit of this. And I'm not completely lost on this. I'm not completely just focused on one thing. I've also got a wide range of skills to know in the from the future from this. Okay, thank you. That was my um, part A, uh, part B. I'll be coming soon. Yeah. Thank you.